Today we're going to talk about adaptive cards in Microsoft Teams and uh, I'm Ujaspi, I'm a program manager on the Microsoft Teams platform. So let me just walk you real quick through the agenda today. Uh, I'll start by providing uh, an overview of what's new with cards uh, in Teams right now. We've got a lot of exciting features that we've GA'd over the past few months and uh, some that are about to be GA'd within the next two, three weeks or so and I'd like to share them with you. Then uh, we'll do a demo of adaptive cards with incoming webhooks. I know a lot of you have been uh, looking forward to this. Uh, this is probably one of our top most rated uh, requests on Teams user voice. So we'll show a little bit of that. So let's get started. For those of you who are aware uh, of adaptive cards, right? They are a very powerful, um, they're, they're an open card exchange format that is very powerful in the sense that you develop once and you have the same card that is extensible in uh, Microsoft Teams, same card works within Outlook, and within Teams, you have it working across all three of our clients, whether it's desktop, iOS, and mobile. So from our perspective, we are like, within the Microsoft Teams perspective, we're all in on adaptive cards, and we wanna, we're gonna uh, keep on investing more and more over here. So uh, what have we, uh, so this is just a few things that we've had over the past uh, two, three months. Uh, firstly, we've got Adaptive Cards 1.2 uh, GA support in Teams, finally. Uh, the second thing we've got is we've got ad mention support inside cards. cards. Uh, so you, if you have been developing bots inside Teams, you always have the ability to ad mention a user inside a message and that would show up within the activity feed. You can do this, uh, you can do the same within a card uh, over here. So let's, you can see this card for John Doe. This red is uh, the person's uh, name. And if you, if you would actually, if this was Teams and you would hover your mouse over it, uh, the people card would show up and uh, this entire card and the corresponding message would be available in that activity feed. So it's another way of generating a notification if you wanna provide a, a you know, specific focus onto this card. And uh, yeah, and we've also, and for my third bullet point, like we've also been heavily invested in ensuring that adaptive cards work seamlessly across both uh, desktop and mobile clients. So that's that's GA for the last two, three months. Uh, in dev preview right now, we have support for adaptive cards with incoming webhooks. So you can actually try this right now. You can, if you uh, would like to set up an incoming webhook within Microsoft Teams, you can actually post uh, adaptive cards to that uh, incoming demo to today, and you know, uh, and I'll I'll give you like a little demo of this, but um, you feel free to try it yourself too, because um, uh, the, this works. So uh, mention support within adaptive cards. So over here, um, you know, got uh, an Azure Pipelines card, and uh, the scenario that we think that uh, mention support really makes a lot of sense is where you've got like a person on DRI or you've got a DevOps type scenario. I mean, you can really use it anywhere, but just from a scenario perspective, and you really want to call out uh, two or three people who are associated with, it, with a card or a particular incident or a particular action. So instead of having, uh, in, the, in the earlier flow, you would have had to mention them outside the card uh, from your bot, uh, within the body of the message somewhere else. But in the new flow, you can have them mentioned within the card itself. Uh, do use it judicial, judiciously because uh, anytime you add mention a user from the cards perspective, it is going to show up in the activity feed over here. So it does drive that notification. It's, it's great for visibility. It's great for engagement of the app if you want to like engage users and let them know of um, actions or content from your app's perspective that is specially relevant to them. Uh, this is the right way to do it. Uh, but again, you want to be mindful and like not overdo it because it could you know feel spammy. Um, given that this is really powerful. Uh, so here's the, the simple schema, the simple JSON schema that goes with act mentioning a user inside the card. Uh, in the blog post that uh, Dana sends out, I will link this documentation, to, uh, I will link this documentation so you can reference it over there. Uh, but basically, um, so what you need to do is you need to have a type uh, which is mentioned and then you need to have a text associated with and you need uh, some sort of text associated with it. And then uh, you need the ID. So this is the 29 colon ID, the Teams user ID that you're familiar with from the bot browsing site. 
so rich text blocks so this is something you know that uh, adaptive cards um, has sdk has supported for a very long time and or for uh, for a while now and we brought this into teams and uh, the way uh, i thought about it I was talking to Matt about like how to position the slide and i think he said something that made a lot of sense is like you know with adaptive cards um, the whole is greater than the sum of the parts or something like that you know, but i think what he was trying to say was that you've got all of these little features such as italic support um, bolts um, um, being able to bold text being able to provide color to text and adding images uh, within cards that really allows you to create these rich uh, cards and teams over here we've got an example of msd in the magazine and the point that i want to drive with you is that as you think about bringing cards and teams think about branding and um, you know really differentiating your app like with all of this rich text support and imaging support and uh, and font support and color support you could really make your card stand out and customize it to your app's needs and uh, you know if there's more uh, you know relevant customization support or like more uh, theming support that you're interested in i think that's that's something that both Matt and i would be interested in hearing about and we can take that towards the end um toggle visibility so here's another one that you know we think there's another particular scenario that we think makes a lot of sense within teams a lot of times you, what we've seen is like cards are getting uh, bulky and there's more and more content uh, within them so especially if you are within the context of a channel you want to keep your card compact and well spaced so it's not too jarring from the user's perspective so for something like that i think we found we have show, show cards available in team uh, teams as part of adaptive cards 1.2 where you can uh, you know click on the see more option and then the card expands and gives you the full view so it's going to take up the entire breadth of the channel and within this toggle visibility support you really want to use it to uh, keep the keep your card, card nice and compact adaptive cards plus incoming web hooks so yes we've heard you i think this is uh then by far one of the most requested uh feature requests that we've had on teams user voice people are like hey we need adaptive cards plus incoming web hooks um, message card support is not flex flexible enough and yes this has been on the back backlog for, for a while now and currently it is right now supported in uh, dev preview uh, the blog post from our side announcing this will, should, will go out shortly but you can try this right now so let me just walk you through a quick demo so over here i am within my uh, microsoft uh, teams uh, demo tenant and i've got an incoming web hook for incidents set up over here and uh, within postman i've got like a few uh, adaptive, uh, adaptive card samples that i've uh, taken beforehand so these are uh, the standard samples that i've taken from the adaptive cards website Let me just open them yeah so i've taken the flight itinerary and the food order samples over here and uh, i'm gonna try and i will uh, just uh, post a few of these cards over here so earlier let's go ahead and send it so earlier you were just limited to you know the traditional message card support in teams so this is the same sample from the message card saying you could uh, uh, do a few functions with that you can add a comment you could close it you could view this and could have the same workflow you could accomplish with adaptive cards so instead of actually using this and coming in book, let me just go ahead and set up a new one uh, just to take you through, through the entire flow. So we are select incoming web box. Uh, great. Copy. And you can like uh, customize your own uh, web hook with your icon and uh, as well if you'd like to do that. Okay, so we've got this new adaptive cards uh, uh, web hook set up uh, in this channel. And let's have to head back over into Postman and uh, send an adapter. Okay. 
and send this adaptive card over there. So this is a custom adaptive card that I made that basically is for incident management. Uh, yeah, and it shows up over here. So uh, within this, you know, you've got an incident management type of scenario where you can notify people what's happening, how many people are impacted. You can have links that go out. Uh, this is a dummy link; it doesn't actually go anywhere. But uh, you can have um, you can have the support with adaptive cards inside incoming webhooks uh, right now. Let's try a few more. Uh, let's try a few more of these. Uh, so we got flight itinerary and uh, food order. So yeah, what we went through. So yeah, this is the same sample uh, for an adaptive card. Uh, the flight itinerary sample. I just pulled it off the um, off the website, and it's working within our incoming webhook. Over here, we've got um, the food order sample, and you can see that over here, this is an example of a show card. So if I click between steak versus chicken versus tofu, um, the card expands, and then it goes back to normal. So another, this is actually another good example of like a compact card design, because this would be like too much information to the user in the first go. So you want to like start with something that's a little more uh, compact and then work your way through them through the flow. Uh, okay, heading back to the presentation. So, what is in Dev Preview today, and what's supported? So, all native adaptive card schema elements except actions will work. Within action support, we will support action dot open URL, action dot show card, and action dot toggle visibility. And uh, as I mentioned, uh, you know, we'll, we'll share this as part of like uh, this community calls uh, blog post. But uh, we'll, we will be sending another few blog posts within a few weeks that details uh, all of this and like what's supported and the documentation and how to enable it. In terms of future support, uh, what we're really looking to do is in Q3 or in H2 this year, we want to bring in act action uh, submit support as well as the ability to add mention users. The ability to add mention users is also, I, I think, the third top motive item within uh, a team's user voice. So we are, uh, it, it is on the backlog and we are working on it. I, I can't commit to a timeline for this, but, but you know, it's, it's something that we are investigating. But if you're really, really inclined towards uh, supporting users within, uh, within, uh, within Microsoft Teams for your app somehow, I would highly encourage you to develop a bot because all of the support and a lot more is already available there. And if some of you have feedback that, hey, uh, developing a bot is really too much. I really want the support within an adaptive card. I would love to hear that. So uh, in this call today, or maybe uh, you, know, you, you can reach out to us uh, via, via Twitter with the account that Dina's going to share. And I'll also share the, the email address for the internal um, for the internal Microsoft Teams dev alias that we personally monitor, that I personally monitor. So any of those, uh, and we will also have a survey option for you. So if you would like to give us feedback via a survey, but um, so you're, you're welcome to like reach out to us for any of these uh, options, like the survey, the chat, directly in the call, or later via email. But do let me know, like, because because we're, we're we're thinking of how we want to support um, both action dots made as well as the ability to add mentioned users within incoming webhooks, and we really want to understand how you think of using an incoming webhook for Microsoft Teams development versus using a bot, and like, what is the uh, you know what's the what's the gap, and what's your thought process there?